right, is it just me or is there something wrong with this cut? Today we are going to investigate, actually this piece looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, we are going to see if we can improve the bezel that we are getting on some of these cuts on 3 8 aluminum. Let me see if there's another one. This one's all actually pretty bad. You can see I had to grind some of it down. Even then it doesn't get it quite there. These corners are pretty bad. I figured with this hypertherm I have, it shouldn't be this bad, but I'm going to assume that that is the cause of my problem. See, according to the book, we should be at 06 inches from torch to work distance. And over here, when I pause the machine in the middle of a cut, that does not look like 0.06 of an inch. So let me change some settings in my cutting parameter and see if it will fix that height. All right, it's kind of loud running all the machines with the plasma and the air compressor. But I did change a parameter and it has made my torch ride a little lower. Here is a OH shim, but it doesn't seem to be quite low enough. I can manage the camera. Still, still a lot of play in there, so we might have to keep adjusting it a little more. Even that is a lot. Okay, why do I get the feeling aluminum is probably not the best substrate to do this calibration? I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of gunk given the properties of aluminum building up on the bottom of this torch. And I feel like this is interrupting its ability to calibrate itself with the torch height controller. So I'm gonna switch over to steel and hopefully it'll have a better time uh, dialing it in for me. All right, I think we have success. This is as close as we're gonna get right here, I think. This is a OH shim, and it barely fits. And uh, I know it's supposed to be 06 based on the data sheet or the manual, but because of this machine's limitations, it only can travel in 1 16th. So that would make it 06 something. And at that height, it's gonna be too close. So I think at this height, it's probably best. So basically, if any of you have a Langmuir machine, let me resituate my internet situation. What I did was come in here and adjust this spring back parameter. So this will take care of the slop and the torch. And hopefully whatever height I enter in here will be what its target height will be when it tries to cut. So that will wrap it up for this video. Uh, I guess I do have a part I need to make on this big aluminum sheet, so maybe we will test this new setting on this sheet.
Sorry for the compressor in the background, but I don't know about you, but this turned out way better. There's some slow sections. It could be I need a new tip. But this one is not too bad. This slow corner, or this corner needed to be slowed down a little bit probably, but it all turned out way better than before. Let's see how this one did. This one's having a hard time popping out. Give me a second. Just a little bit, not too much. Yeah, I think, see this turned out pretty straight. So I think from running at the wrong height, my tip might be a little burnt out, but that's all you have to do to, uh, uh, I guess, dial in your plasma table. So uh, let me know if you have other questions and comments below. Until next time. We might get to this box finally.